Hello friends, Namaste. So in the previous classes, we are discussing about the project communication management and we already discussed plan communication management and also we discussed manage communication in the previous classes. Today, we are going to discuss about the control communication or it is also called as monitor com communication, control and monitor communication. So what is the meaning of this means it involves monitoring and controlling project communications to ensure the stakeholder communication needs are met. So what is the meaning of this means the control communication is all about performing uh, it, it, it is all about measuring, measuring performance and project progressions. Okay, whether it is according to the uh, uh, project management plan or not. I will repeat you once again. Control communication is all about measuring project progression and making sure all the activities are according to the project management plan. So that is what we are going to call as control communication. In this, this, this Control communication will come to the picture in the uh, project life cycle phase number 4 with the controlling and monitoring phase. So here what are the inputs you are going to give? There is a project management plan. What is the meaning of it? It is a formal document. It is going to tell how to perform the uh, project, execute it and control it. So next what is the issue log? Issue logs means when you are going to start a project, when you are going to execute the project, many pro, many more problems are going to arise or many more issues are going to arise. So that will be documented in a register or a spreadsheet. So that we are going to call as issue log and it is also going to show so for the problem what is the solution or what is the action plan being taken so that everything will be documented so that we are going to call as what issue log next one is work performance data so this is about uh, what is the progression of the project and how much cost is being incurred and what is the performance what is the status of the project so everything will be data recorded that we are going to call as work performance data next organization process assets this is been already discussed that tells you about the policies procedures and the knowledge from the previous past data so that we are going to call as what organization assets so these four are the inputs for where control communication next what are the tools are used during this uh, communication phases Information management system. What is the information management system? It is a computer system, consists of hardware and a software. It acts as a back, backbone for an organization. What it is going to do? It is going to collect the data, analyze the data, and it is going to give the reports to the management that will help to take the necessary action or necessary decision. So that we are going to call as what information management system or also it is called as what MIS. Next expert judgment. So before taking any decisions all the experts they are going to take the opinion from the particular knowledge so that then after they are going to decide what to do so that we are going to call as what expert judgment and also the meeting meetings will be conducted before with the team members and also the stakeholders. So these are the various tools so that will be used for which one control communication. So what will be the output for this? The output will be work performance measurement that means here we are going to note down what are the current status and we are going to check whether all the activities as per the project management plan if it is any deviations are there if there is any lag in the activities then necessary action will be taken okay so that is what we're going to call as work performance management not only the scheduling also they're going to check the cost budget whether they are whether, whether the project is there in the within the budget or not so everything will be recorded in which one 
work performance measurement see always the management will talks about uh, schedule and also they are going to talk about how much profit they are going to get right so that is what they are going to do in the work performance measurement so next one is change request see so we are going to compare the actual and as well as plan see there will be some changes will be there so thus for that changes they are going to uh, request they are going to change in the uh, system so adjust the system for the changes that we are going to call as what change request next so then they after that everything will be documented or everything will be updated according to the measures taken right so that is what project management plan updates project document updates organization portion assets updates okay so this is the flow chart of control communication management i hope you understood thank you namaste